Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. First, log into the GUI of the UCM. From there, go to Maintenance and then click User Management. Here, you can see a list of all the users created on the system. Extensions automatically become Web GUI users when created. This is so users can configure their own settings through the Web GUI interface. For today, I'm just showing you how to edit the default admin account. Here, you can edit any of the text fields shown. But to edit the email or password for the admin, the blue links shown here will take you to the Login Settings page. So, let's click on Login Settings. Here is where you can edit the user's password, username, and email address to send the password reset to. To make any changes to this page, you will need to enter the current password under Enter Old Password. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the security banner at the top of the screen. First, uncheck the Change Password checkbox. Then enter a new username in the Username field. It can be anything, as long as it's not Admin. If you do not want to change any other settings at this time, click Save. Once the UCM saves the new username, it will send you back to the login screen before you can even apply the changes. Log back into the UCM using your new username and click the Apply Changes button. You should now notice that the new username is shown in the top right corner as the currently logged in user. You should also notice that the security warning banner at the top of the page has now been removed. I'm now logging out to show you how the Forgot Password login works. When you click on Forgot Password, the system uses the email address we set under the user's account. Enter the username you need to reset the password for and click Send Email. The page will now show a verification code that you will need to enter later, so record this number. Next, check your inbox for the User Reset Password email. Click the Confirm to Change Password link in the email to be directed back to the UCM. You are now on the Reset Password page. Enter your new password and take notice of the requirements for a valid password. Once you have entered and re-entered a new valid password, you should enter the six-digit verification code you recorded earlier. Then, click the Reset Password button. The UCM will now take you back to the login page. Enter your username and the new password now to log in. The last thing to show you today is how to extend or remove the UCM login timeout. Go to Maintenance, then click Login Settings. Next, click the Login Security tab. Here you can change the user's login timeout from the default 10 minutes to something longer, or set it to zero to disable it altogether. This setting is global and is changed for all users. Some other popular settings to change here to your preferences are the maximum number of login attempts and the user ban period. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.